Hi, Neil from EA Media. Well, this morning Reuters had a, a news story titled HP Enterprise Let's Russia Scrutinize Cybersecurity System Used by Pentagon. When I first saw this, I was thinking, I wonder whether it's some sort of new system using AI that the Russians were now able to see, something like that. Um, when I read the story, though, turns out it was just about ArcSight. HP Enterprise was trying to sell ArcSight into the na Russian nation, into Russian customers. But in order to do that, Russia had to look at the source code to make sure that the U.S. had not put any backdoors in there. Sort of like a Kaspersky in reverse. So in essence, this story was just about sensationalizing the activity that one nation does over another. So kind of annoyed me. So what I thought I'd do with this video is talk about SIMs, what they are, and how to design and put them in. So the first thing to understand about a SIM is a SIM, or S-I-E-M, stands for Security Incident and Event Monitoring. Okay. It is meant to receive logs from source devices, look at those logs, look for patterns, look for things that meet certain policies so that the security analyst can act on them. It does not generate logs. That is on the source solutions, the Windows servers, the Linux servers, the network devices, your security solutions like antivirus or NIDs or firewalls. If you think about it, if you were not to have the SIM, and you wanted to know what was going on in your environment, you'd have to go to every single server all the time on a regular basis, and the manpower would be through the roof. This is a method for providing a return on investment, reducing costs so that your security analyst and your SOC are able to manage your environment properly. Okay, So here's the first key about a SIM. A SEM is only as good as the logs it's receiving. It's like that very old computer saying, garbage in, garbage out. If the SEM does not receive security logs, it's not going to be able to provide any feedback or information on those logs. I can't tell you how many uh, environments I've been in where they have a SEM, but only a small percentage of the devices in that environment are sending their logs to the SEM for monitoring purposes. So if you want your SEM solution to be successful, get as many if not all of your devices sending security logs to your SEM. That's key number one. Key number two, okay, so you have your devices logging. How do you get those logs to the SEM? There's actually two methods, two primary design methods. The first and most popular is something uses a central aggregation point. Different vendors use different terms, but it's basically an aggregation point where one point where all these logs are being sent to. Um, ArcSight calls it a logger. Uh, Logarithm calls it an appliance. Uh, Splunk has its own term for this as well. That is an aggregation point where you're ha sending the full logs to a, in essence, an appliance. The problem is that in all those logs, you're going to have stuff that you don't need. It's also going to be very high volume. For example, if you're talking about a win Windows server, you're talking about very high volume logs that are being sent across your network. So sometimes, rather than send all the logs to that aggregation point, you want to send only the important stuff. And that leads to the second design method. You can either use that central aggregation point or you can use what's called an agent based. You take an agent, you put it on the end device, where the source logs are being created, and then the agent will just look for what's important and send the important stuff to the aggregation point. Okay. 
two methods. The good thing about this is you're not sending this vast number of logs across your network. The downside is you now have yet another agent on a server. And as a result, the server is going to need additional resources, serve, uh, CPU, memory, that sort of stuff. The centralized logger, downside, you have all that log stuff coming to it. So you don't want to put it, all that log traffic going through a, uh, a firewall or a router with an ACL. So you need to put that uh, central aggregation point in each zone. Okay, now you don't have those the volume going through the firewalls, through the ACLs. It's a balancing act. Which are you going to do, the agent or the logger? The solution is a combination of both. Okay, so last point for the solution is now what's called, I'll use the term management console. Again, each vendor has its own term for it. The management console is where your security analyst is interfacing with the SEM itself. It's where they create the policies. It's where they create the reports. It's where they are going out and grabbing the information and bringing it in some usable form for the security analyst. This management console will reach out to those various aggregation points with the rules. And it, the rule might say something like, find all the critical servers and any logins that were um, unsuccessful. There's your policy. So now it'll go to the aggregation points, grab that information, bring it back. The aggregation points will store the logs. You want to be thinking about things like a SAN, the size of your um, storage devices, your SAN, your, or maybe you're using a um, network-based storage. That you have to consider when you're doing your design. And then the management console is, how are you going to access it? What are the policies going to be? The management console is also going to be where you'll hear things like um, algorithms are being used for correlation. Now, correlation is a big word for basically if A is happening on system A, B is happening on the next system over, based on those two things, you can expect the next thing is going to happen. It's, it's an attempt to anticipate what could happen. So when you're designing or selecting your vendor, sorry, you want to understand what the... Um, the algorithm can do, what type of policies you can create, and then you go from there. One final thing about management consoles, this is where your reporting comes. And it's really important to think about reporting because it's not just the security analyst that's looking at this stuff. It's also the executives are going to be asking things like, um, how secure is our environment? You're going to have security managers asking how many devices are actually logging and sending logs in. That sort of thing. Okay, so reporting is an important aspect of a SIM. So to circle this and complete this, here's my biggest recommendation to you. Make sure your source devices are logging and those logs are getting into the SIM. If you're not logging, then the SEM is not going to be able to tell you anything about those devices. And though now it's just it's just a, a big server. That's all a SEM ends up being. The more devices that are sending logs in, the better your SEM solution is going to be. So it all starts with that. And remember, the course the, that core statement I started off this video with, garbage in, garbage out is especially true for a SEM. Anyway, that's it for this video. If you like this video, take a look at some of these other videos that uh, we have available on our YouTube channel. And don't forget to subscribe. That way you can help the EA Media community grow. I'm Neil Rarep with EA Media, and I hope that helps.